up everybody? Happy St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna be cooking some corned beef and cabbage tonight. So let's get into this week's episode. We're gonna do a little off-roading and finding my camp spot. So let's get it. All these wildflowers. All right, let's get our dinner started. We just roll up to the spot. So we're gonna call home for the night, and I need to get this soup going. Here's what we got on the menu. We got a corned beef brisket, flat cut. We're gonna. Cut that up to like one pound probably, cause I'm not that hungry. Cook it up in some, boil it in some Guinness for a while. We're gonna get that going while we hang out and uh, we'll check back in. All right, so my cut of meat is pretty big. So I'm not gonna eat all this. But I'm gonna cut it into about a third, put it in the pan. That way I can uh, speed up my cooking time. So we got our corned beef. Go ahead and throw that in there. We're gonna add one of these guys and I'll drink. We're gonna let that simmer for a little while. We're gonna leave the van. Apparently, there's a little cave over here. So we're gonna drive this big old beast over there. Some paws? Yeah. Uh oh, we found a cave. Where's some paws at? Ooh. That's it though. What are these? Cat paws or dog paws? You know how to tell the difference? Nope. Cat paws will have a nail won't have a nail and dog paws will. This is a dog paw. You can see the nail right here. This is the kill den. Came back to the van, added some potatoes and some onions and a little bit more Guinness. We're gonna let this simmer a little bit for probably 20 minutes, let these potatoes get cooked up. And then uh, I should add these carrots too right now. Yeah, let's add some carrots. Get those cooking. And then, yeah. I got the sunset, it's looking good. The sun's going down. So the sun is going down, but I'm out here in all this greenery and hopefully I'm gonna try to find some clovers and maybe find a four leaf clover. St. Patrick's Day, so I think that's some good spirits. Let's see what we can find. I haven't seen much clover, but I'm gonna walk around and see if there's anything out here. So this is pretty cool. These are California poppies. And a California sunset. So not much clover, if any, really, yet. But I got some time to kill. I'm just hanging out, so I'll try to find some. There's the van way down there. Well, I cannot find a four leaf clover anywhere. All this greenery and no clovers. Anyways, got a sick sunset. Got a Guinness. 
Gotta get in the spirit. The stew is looking delicious. All right, now we're talking. It's gonna simmer about 20 minutes. I'm actually gonna add some water so the meat, the meat will boil up a little bit more and tenderize. Sun's just about down. Got my last Guinness. I'm gonna crack this guy open. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day Cup. I'm not a pro beer pourer, but didn't do. All right, cheers, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Drinking Guinness. I got Guinness boiled corned beef and cabbage over here cooking up. We got a beautiful sunset. Going to camp out tonight, make some corned beef hash in the morning with the leftover corned beef. And really do it Irish style. Looks delicious. Tastes good. Alright, I think the meat's done. It's 9, 10 or something. 9.05. So I'm going to eat whether or not it's tender or not. Because I'm hungry. So let's get to it. All right, that looks good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm ready to eat, it's nine something, so. I had about three Guinness, three Guinnesses, so I'm hungry. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Some are tender. Carrots are done. I know the potatoes are soft, I checked those earlier. Tonight, I'm just gonna be using this blanket. It's gonna be low 45, so going to just rough it and see what it's like. No heater, so just the blanket and the clothes I'm wearing. I got my down booties, of course, get some good lifesavers. So, I'm gonna give the uh, Guinness corned beef like a Seven out of ten. I think the Guinness was pretty good, but it overpowered a little bit on the cabbage and the vegetables. So I don't know if I'll do it the same way again next time, but it was still good. Had a sick day. I'm gonna hit the sack. Just waking up. It's like seven o'clock. I slept terrible. I don't know why. I was tossing and turning all night. I didn't get to sleep till like one a.m. But here now, I'm gonna make some corned beef hash and eggs. Let's do it.
Okay, we're gonna let that fry for a little while, and then work on our potatoes and eggs. My corned beef is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the potatoes now. These potatoes are looking great. I diced up the corned beef in there. Let's add some eggs. There she is. Day after St. Patrick's Day breakfast. Alright guys, that's going to do it for my St. Patrick's Day adventure. Catch you on the next one.